Hey guys, it's Mist here again for another video today, and we are back with some more franchise modes. Uh, but in this one, we're going to be doing a very different type of series, I guess. Now, I really like doing franchise modes with a twist on them, so... Uh, in this one, we're going to be doing quite the twist for this series. So we're going to be using a creative team uh, I made, which is the Houston Bull, as you can see on screen right now. Uh, so we're going to be joining the Central Division, a very competitive Central Division, that's for sure. Uh, all of those teams can make the playoffs right now, I would say. Maybe not Minnesota, but every other team, almost 100%, could probably make the playoffs. Um, but if you guys didn't or couldn't tell from the thumbnail, the draft of glory that we are going to be doing is... Uh, well, first of all, I guess I should mention we are doing a draft of glory, so... We're going to be doing a draft of glory strictly using OHL players. Um, I figured since I just moved to Ontario, you know, why not do an OHL franchise mode? Now, there, there are tons and tons of, a or of OHL alumni. Uh, I'm going to name off some of them. Uh, but the way we are doing it is we aren't going to be drafting... Uh, we're, doing, we're going to be doing a fantasy draft. We aren't going to be drafting... The, or sorry, we aren't doing a fantasy draft, um, so we aren't drafting or trading for any players or acquiring any players in free agency from past OHL teams, okay? So the only way we can get AHL players is if we draft them ourselves. Now, it's going to be relatively hard because we don't get a lot of draft picks per year. Uh, there's OHL is one of the harder leagues, although when I name off some of the players that have came from the AHL, or from the OHL, I keep saying AHL, I don't know why, from the OHL, um, there are some very good players. Now, we'll see if we'll get any success through this. Uh, I'm sure we will, but I'm sure for the first five seasons, uh, this won't be a successful team. Uh, now, obviously, anything can happen. We will... We will wait to see uh, how everything pans out. So, like I said, we are going to be the Houston Bull. Uh, that is the team name. I don't know why. I like I like doing Houston a lot. So, let's turn some of this stuff off. So, salary cap we're going to keep on, of course, and CPU trades. We are also going to keep on. Um, um, there we go. All right. So, that will be everything uh, for that. We'll do rules and settings. Our AHL team is the Austin Huskies. Um, I just figured, uh, Austin, why not, sure, uh, AHL team, doesn't really matter, now we're going to keep the injuries off for this, uh, full sim of 20 minute periods, now there is draft pick, draft pick, ownership, I guess we can keep it authentic as I'll have all of my draft picks, um, but let's see, there is a setting I'm looking for, I do not know where it is though, um, maybe in advanced settings. Because, to be honest, I'm really not sure. So, auto-rotate goalies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, sim engine scoring is medium. I swore it was, it's preset to high. I'm going to keep it on medium, though, because I've noticed recently, if it's on high, the goaltending is abysmal throughout the year. It doesn't matter who's the goalie. Straight up awful. Like, I'm doing an offline, just free-to-play, or, like, an offline sim with my friend. And uh, we're like competing with each other to who can make a dynasty. But I have Andre Vasilevsky as my goalie, and for two straight seasons, he hasn't had above a 905 save percentage. Uh, <laughs> like, I don't know if Vasilevsky just isn't good in this game or what, but I need I needed to change that. So uh, we'll keep it on medium. I didn't. I'm pretty sure on those other sims, it's on high. But I'm not sure. So everything should be good to go now. Let's uh, let's start the career, guys. Keep salary cap on, of course. Uh, got my uh, got my jamming out playlist on in my right ear. Got the headset on just the left ear. We're ready to go, guys. I I'm excited to do this one because this one's going to be quite a challenge. Um, you know, I've done a draft of glory before, strictly using Tampa Bay players which was relatively hard as well. Um, this this one uh, this one will be interesting though. This one probably won't be as hard as the Tampa one though. If if I were to guess. 
I feel like the Tampa one would be harder just because it was really hard to get goaltending in that series if you never watched it. But uh, let's uh, let's get going, I guess. So we'll advance to the expansion draft. Now, as for the expansion draft, I'm sure there are plenty of players. We're picking number one. <laughs> Oh, man. Wow, Montreal moved up from 16th to the 3rd. Raw, Montreal just scored. <laughs> That's incredible. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Um, so, we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, I, we aren't going to need the first overall pick, I believe, because I believe it is last year's draft, so the Hughes and Kako draft, uh, which means we don't really need to pick anybody until... Let me just pull it up real quick. I don't think we... the first player that went was Thomas Harley, 18th overall. So we'll obviously we'll take a look once we get in there, but uh, we we could definitely move down and maybe acquire some picks this way. So that'll be interesting. Let's see, or let's start the expansion draft now. What I think I'm gonna do is just get players that are on one-year contracts. Adam Henrique, funnily enough, he is. A alumni or an OHL alumni. Now I'm looking for players on a one-year deal that I can just get rid of. Uh, Nicholas Delorier, sure. Word, I'm not. Uh, I'm not signing any of these players, uh, but I also don't want to play can take any roster players. So if there's players that are bad, Bo Bennett just signed with them. So I guess I'll take Chaput. Or Ch Chapu? Is it Chapu? Or is it Chaput? I'm not sure. Chaput. Wow, Tori Krug. Uh, that would be nice to pick. Uh, also, guys, I don't know if you've done an expansion draft in this game, but you seriously have to. Expansion drafts in this game are crazy. You could get like three. You could get like five top pairing defensemen from the, from these drafts. It's unreal. Like Burns is normally in there. Giordano, uh, Medano, uh, Krug. Uh, who else have I seen? Um, uh, Truba, uh, and there's some others in there, but it's just crazy, like absolutely unreal. Uh, Wagner probably wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't be uh, playing for Boston. Well, I mean, you never know. He, he played last year, but whatever. This this is our sim. Doesn't matter. Uh, so, like I said, I'm gonna try to not take any roster players from them, um, but I might have to take some. We'll take Nelson. I think it's Casey Nelson. Um, also, I gotta make sure uh, we check goalie. See, that's what I mean. Look, with Mark Giordano, 89 overall, unreal. Uh, John Gillies it does still have potential. I'm not gonna take him. Let's, uh, focus on these one-year deal uh, skaters for now, I guess. Wow, Oscar Shillington's on the block too. That would be a nice pickup as well. But obviously, uh, we're not gonna do that. Brennan Davidson, we'll take. Carolina, do they have a goalie we can pick? Hayden Fleury as well, Justin Falk, <laughs> two more great defensemen. Uh, Anton Forsberg, or is it Anton or Andrew? I don't remember. I really don't. Uh, but again, obviously we're not going to be taking any of these players. Uh, let's see, 78, 31, maybe. Kyle Wood, no. Actually, McCormick, that's fine. He's awful. <laughs> He's very, very not good. Uh, goalies in Chicago. I'm not going to take Laner, obviously. That's a little unrealistic. Eric Gustafson as well. Another defenseman you could pick. Ooh. Now, I don't want to take Slater Quack Quack because he, even though he is on a one year deal, he could be a roster player for them. So let's see. Is there. Wow, they do not have a lot of skaters. What the hell? Oh, man. There's. Uh, I want to take. I'm thinking about Dahlstrom, uh, but like anybody else, if I like literally any of these players apart from Sorella, you know, I'm just gonna take Sorella. He's on a one-year deal. He's not very good. Uh, they don't really need him. <laughs> let's be real. Chicago's back in the game this year, I would say. <laughs> uh, let's look at one-year deals in uh, in Colorado. Look at that extension for Samuel Gerrard, 80 overall. Clearly, EA uh, didn't like that, or didn't like that uh, signing. Uh, Nicholas Malosh, no prospect. Uh, Tynan, sure. Uh, oh, speaking of which, guys, let's, let's talk about an OHL player. Um, Mitch Marner got re-signed with the Maple Leafs yesterday. As a Maple Leafs fan, it puts a pretty big smile on my face, I must say. 
Uh, I am very happy. No, I can't take Clendenning. He's on an extension. Uh, but I am su superbly happy <laughs> that that Marner uh, got extended. It happened last night, uh, and I was, uh, was going to say I was very, very happy about it. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think of the contract. I think we are going to have quite the uh, interesting next couple of seasons. Now, it's going to be tough because I was checking Cat Friendly today, uh, and Cat Friendly is amazing, first of all, if you guys don't use it. But... Um, my god, um, the cap space for the Leafs is quite literally non-existent. Like, there's just absolutely no, no room for us to do anything right now, which really sucks, I'm not going to lie. Um, but well, literally, unfortunately, what can you do? Because um, we're literally paying about $41 million, I think it is, for our top four forwards. And after this season, we will. The only defenseman we're gonna have signed to play is um, is uh, is Morgan Riley. So we uh, we're kind of struggling right now uh, for the cap situation. Hopefully, we'll be able to figure something out soon enough, though, because I would say uh, we need to figure something out fast. <laughs> Although, you know, with with our top four forwards locked up, we have them all locked up for the next five years. Um, Mar or, uh, Matthews and Nylander for the next five, Tavares and Marner for the next six. So, really, we've got, like, the two pieces, the two most important pieces, arguably, on our top two lines uh, together for years to come, which is really nice, of course, but... I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna really have some cap issues. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm pretty worried about it. I'm not gonna lie, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to, or hopefully Dubas will be able to figure something out. I'm sure he will. He's he's a pretty smart guy. That's for sure. Uh, man, this is taking so long. Can I be done with this already? I don't want to auto draft just because. Uh, just because I don't actually get like a half decent team. Oh my god. Oh yes, this is the. Biggest mistake EA has ever made. Matt Barkowski is on a one-year two-way deal, uh, or a one one-year one-way deal. In this game, he's on a seven-year two-way contract. Uh, I was watching a Tugi stream, and he mentioned that like that's ridiculous. That's absolutely awful. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Okay, we need goalies here. We don't have any goalies yet. Is there any goalies we can take? Charlie Lindgren, no. Let's keep going. Hopefully, because I, I want to do the draft in this episode. I'd like to uh, to move on a little bit in this episode, so hopefully we'll be able to. Um, Nashville, do you have a goalie we can take? Yes, Grossnick, nice. That's a great goaltender. Uh, um, New Jersey, with the, do they have a goalie? I feel like Schneider, probably, but I'm not taking Schneider, obviously. Um, some more players to grab. Uh, Street, sure. I think it's Brian Street. I'm not sure though. I don't remember. Uh, goalies in the island or on the island. Uh, we can take Jared Coro. <coughs> uh, now the Rangers. Uh, man, like I said, guys, you should do an expansion draft this year. You can make you can make a really really good team. Why are there so many prospects there? What the hell? Prospects aren't supposed to be there. The heck. Well, that's weird. Prospects are supposed to be uh, protected from the expansion draft. What the hell? Well, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, 71, or uh, 76, 31 years old. Matt Bolesky will take him. Probably not going to be in the Rangers lineup. Uh, we're, we're about halfway through, guys, so we're almost there. Um, Borieski, actually, we'll take Swars. Philly now, do they have a goalie? Because they, you know, they went through about 77 goalies last season. Uh, they actually do in Barube, which I am going to take. There, so we've got our three goalies. <laughs> I think our highest one was is Barube, actually, was 75. So that's not good, but although obviously I'm really not too worried about it right now. Because uh, we need to, uh, we need to make sure that we aren't going to be a good team. Uh, we'll take Joseph Cramarosa. How many defensemen do we have? Not a lot. We do need to take some defensemen if 
if uh, if we can. Um, well, I was gonna say Tim Heed, but no, we'll take Dalton Proud. Yeah, that's a that's a, not a great player either. <laughs> Uh, Alex Petrangelo, wow, that's the first time I've seen Petrangelo here, damn, oh my, Braden Shed, David Perron, what are like, Jesus Christ, man, absolutely stacked over there in St. Louis, uh, well, kind of, I mean, you know, they probably should have made the playoffs 100% last year, not, not gone from last, uh, cup champions, Ryan McDonough, like I said, McDonough seems to always be here, uh, which is pretty insane. Corey Conacher, get on the team. Uh, now in Toronto, Tyson Berry and Jake Muzzin and Cap Kasperi Kapanen. So uh, Toronto would be losing someone good there, and Andreas Janssen, Zach Hyman as well. Damn, got uh, a lot of players there actually that are on uh, or that are uh, relatively decent. Uh, Martin Marinson, yep. It's not like he'll ever actually like play as a Maple Leaf because Babcock just won't use him. Chris Tanev, again, another good defenseman. Uh, we'll do Biega because he's 77 overall. Probably wouldn't make the lineup. Again, all these players are going to free agency anyways. I'm not, I'm not bringing any of them back. So if a team really wants them back, they can get them back. Don't worry about it. Scarbosa. And then Winnipeg, we're on the last team, guys. The... Last pick for this expansion draft will be. I was thinking about Latest too, but no. Um, oh, 68 to 30. Shilling. Yeah, that is an awful player. All right. Finish the draft. There we go. So we've got one draft of this episode done. Uh, look at that. A stellar team. I think our highest overall is Alex Biega, who's a 77. <laughs> Chris Wagner, what a legend, had uh, 19 points this season. All right, so we just finished the, um, the expansion draft. Now uh, we go into the 2018-2019 NHL entry draft. So let's just call a timeout quickly because uh, I have no idea what I'm going to do just yet. Well, you have about eight minutes. Let's view the draft class here. Let's see, where are, oh, oh, this isn't the draft from last year, okay, so now we gotta look for uh, players um, that have played in the OHL, uh, so he played for Russia, USA East, SHL, USA Central, Russia, Russia, USA West, Russia, USA East, Russia, WHL, OHL, Victor Hadfield seems to be the first selection for us, Damien uh, Sutter, that's interesting, he's from Belgium, they're Belgium, what the hell, um, Sudbury, that's another OHL player, Blake Murray, he is listed as a medium elite, I wonder if he would be a medium elite, I honestly have no idea, but Hadfield, oh man, he's listed as an AHL top two, I swear to God if he's an AHL top two, I'm going to be a very unhappy man. I think we're going to move down to 10th overall. So Anaheim will get this first overall selection. They don't want to give up their pick, though. Is there anybody that wants to give up their pick out of curiosity uh, around that 10th spot? No, I'm not moving down to 14. I don't think I'll be able to get Hadfield. So let's do uh, Anaheim. We'll go to 10th. We should be able to acquire Hadfield that way, um, and we should, like I said, we should be able to get quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of value for this. So Anaheim, there you go. You uh, are going to give me your first next year, and St. Louis is first this year as well. And I could probably still get more. Wow. Okay. Let's see. Can I get your second this year as well? Can I get all of that, all four of those picks for the first overall? Really, you're not giving that to me. Come on, I think you, I think you should. Actually, I might not be able to get anything else out of this. Let's try a fourth this year as well. Will that go through? No, it will not. I'm actually not going to be able to get those three first. Are you joking? Quite close to fair value, they say. Uh, okay. Uh, can I give you one of these players? Um, Sorella, sure. Wait, I swear to God, I saw. His, oh wait, Sorella's on my team. Yeah, okay. I thought I was checking. I thought I checked Anaheim and Sorella was there, but there we go. Trade accepted. 
All right, now, uh, so that's that's done. Anaheim will get to select first overall. Uh, Turikov, I didn't even check. What's his name? Boris, probably. Yeah, Boris Turikov and then Matteo McArdle. McArdle are the t first two selections of the draft so far. Uh, Soderstrom then goes third. Uh, Cassidy, I've never seen that name, goes fourth. Kudobin goes fifth. We're now out of the elite players with the looks of things. Corrado goes sixth. Uh, Ponikarovsky goes seventh. Coming up to our pick now. Lamb goes uh, eighth. He's a medium top six defenseman and a medium top nine forward. Oh, God. Oh, God, that's scary. Hadfield might not be very good then. I have no idea what his potential is. Let's go for it. Medium top six, 60 overall defenseman. Not a great first selection uh, to start off this series. Um, but uh, we'll have to take it. It's okay. Maybe we'll uh, we'll make it work. Hopefully. Uh, so let's see. Murray now. He's projected to go 15th. Oh my god. Yo, wait, what? There's someone that's 6th that still haven't, hasn't been picked. Or that was projected 6th. Grabeshkov. Whoever gets Dmitry Grabeshkov will be taking a steal by the looks of things then. So Blake Murray, let's move down to 14th, I think. We'll uh, we'll just sim, just to make sure he doesn't get drafted. Grabeshkov, well, he's a medium top four. He's not that great. Uh, medium top six in Williams. Uh, Minnesota takes Sutter, medium top nine. This draft does not look very good, guys. Uh, so let's see. We'll take... Um, so Hadfield doesn't really have any value whatsoever, which is understandable. Um... It's a good two-way defenseman, really. Uh, obviously, he'll probably be playing in the AHL for us. I don't really plan on getting any of the players we have drafted to play in the NHL. Um, but we'll see. So St. Louis, oh, I'm going to try and give up that pick. Oh, wow, I'm going to have to give up a lot more to get this pick, though. I don't want to give up my second. I'm not giving up picks for future years. Even if I added... You know, these four players that they want, I don't think it would go through. Yeah, they'd have way too many skaters, first of all. Oh, wow, they still have too many skaters. Oof. I might not be able to get... I might not be able to get um, that player, then. Uh, Murray, right? Uh, yeah, Blake Murray. Oh, man, if he's, if he's going to be an elite player, I'm going to really hate myself. Oh man, I'm uh, I'm worried. Cole McKay is another player we could go for. Um, Bar Barlage isn't, but uh, so is Tag Bertuzzi, which I don't think he is too bad. Oh man, well uh, we might not be able to get him. We'll send the pick, see if he gets drafted. Cause or Koisten and goes, so maybe Florida will be a little bit more generous about this trade. So let's try and give up the St. Louis first. That's at the end of the first. It's literally the last pick. I'd rather uh, just get rid of that anyway. Well, I not get rid of it, but you know what I mean. Uh, let's see. Wow, that actually might work. Ooh, they w don't want to take... Oh, wait, they want Delorier. So let's get rid of Street then. Um, <clears throat> what do goalies do? Any of our goalies have any value? <laughs> Uh, let's try just Jared. Let's just try Jared Coro instead. See if that'll go through. We like Chris Wagner. If you want to take another crack at it, so they like Wagner and Deloria. I don't know if they like Biega or not, though. I mean, I would assume so since it's green. But then again, this game's just kind of random sometimes. Can we give up our seventh to add to that? I know I said I didn't want to give up any draft picks, but a late a late round pick like that shouldn't be too bad. Okay, you still don't want this? Come on. I'm not, I really don't want to have to give up a fourth. I'm not giving up any more than a fourth either. Uh, we'll try a fourth. If the fourth doesn't go through, then this sh we're just not moving up. Uh, nope. All right. Well, I'm done. Uh, I'm done with that. Then let's see what Blake Murray is. Medium top nine forward. He, he's not great. Okay. Well, that that makes it a little. That makes me feel a little bit better, but. I would still like to have got him. 
So Tag Bertuzzi, is he worth is he worth going for? I don't know what his uh, what his um, stats are like in this game. We could move down to he's projected to go twentieth. So we could probably go for Dallas's pick. Let's see. Uh, Likachev just got drafted, medium top six. Alistra, medium top nine. Uh, McKay just got drafted. He was, he was one of the uh, players he could have taken. Uh, he wasn't too great either. So now I think we go for Bertuzzi. Let's try and make this trade. Uh, we'll try and make this trade with Dallas. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll be able to. All right, let's add a first, or the first, I guess, uh, the first from St. Louis. Uh, it's obviously not going to be enough. I don't know how many roster spots they have, but we'll just add in the top four the players that people want. Uh, they could, actually, funnily enough. Trade rejected, though. They do want Deloria. We'll take out Street. Come on, we're literally over the value now. I wish this would go through. Oh my god, we'll add our 7th, se will that work, no, oh man, am I really not going to be able to get this player either, what about our 6th, again, I'm not going any higher than a 4th, well, last attempt, we'll try our 5th, if the 5th doesn't work, we aren't moving up again, <laughs> and that won't work, damn it, damn it, damn it, oh, man, oh, this is really, uh, Really making uh, making a making it a lot harder for me. Ottawa, what are the odds Ottawa doesn't take him? Low. <laughs> I know he wasn't that great of a player. Uh, st still, you know, obviously, it would have been nice to have. Um, but uh, let's see. Let's just move down now to see uh, if there's any OHL players. Ooh, Kari Piroinen. He's a goalie. And a scout uh, recommendation as well. Okay, so we need to get, <laughs> we need to go for him then. He probably isn't going to be that good, but we need to try and draft him. So we could move up, at, like I'd say probably to Nashville's pick. Um, yeah, I'd say probably Nashville's pick would be safe. Let's trade uh, the first. That almost goes through on itself. Actually, you know what? They want to get rid of it. Let's just try that. Can we do that? No, we can't. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go back to the skaters that we got that every team seems to want. Biega and Wagner will try those two. Will that work? Trade rejected. Uh, it says consult our trade block, but I'm literally giving you four pieces that you want. So you should be accepting this. Come on, man. How are teams not taking that? I know it's four useless players, basically, but you could at least use them in the AHL. We'll try our seventh. Uh, will that go through? Oh my god. I'm not going to be able to get any of these players. Like, I know it's it's a risk giving up draft picks as it is, but giving up higher round draft picks, like in the first four rounds, it's it's a bigger risk, and I don't really want to have. Thank you, thank you, thank you, finally. All right, so we'll sim to our pick, or we'll sim. Uh, well, we'll just sim to our pick, I guess. Um. Yeah, all right, so let's go. High top six from Turan there. Let's see. Piranin. He's a Finn from the Spitz. I don't know if he's any good. He is 17, though, so that uh, that might help us out in the long run. Medium fringe starter, not great, of course, but, you know, it works. So when's the next AHL player to go? Let's see. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Next OHL player is uh, not for a while, by the looks of things. Uh, OHL player is Cole Frazier. All right, he is a 19-year-old defenseman projected to go 40th overall, which means I might move down again because I believe we have the third pick in the th in the third or in the second round. Um, but, uh, yeah, we do, okay, so which is uh, the 35th overall selection. Nobody wants to move up, though. Anaheim would like to get rid of their pick, but that's going to be too late. You know what, I guess we'll just have to make the pick here then. That's fine with me, honestly. I, I just want to get him. Uh, we just need to get the all the help we can right now. So Cole Frazier, 
We'll take him. I don't know if he's going to be any good or not. He is 19 over. Uh, 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 wow. Words. <laughs> okay, so he's 63 overall, medium 7th. Again, not a great pick. Actually, before we move on, let's see if there's any other AHL players um, um, uh, around here for us to pick. Let's see. Let's just scroll. Why am I? Why do I keep doing it like this? Why don't I just sort it by OHL? It would make everything so much easier. So, a medium top six, Emmett Pierce. Um, don't know how accurate that is, but it is later in the second round. So, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53. All right, let's maybe try and trade for this uh, Winnipeg pick. Uh, don't know if we'll be able to, but we can try it. We've got a third, fourth, sixth, and seventh this year. Mm, eek. What about our third next year? That's not going to go through. Oh, actually, that. Oh, really? Damn, okay. Well, I, uh, I don't think I'll be able to get anybody apart from the picks that we have so we'll sim to our pick we'll go back and see how good that player was hopefully he wasn't an absolute all-star that we just missed out on um, I don't remember his name uh, where is he uh, Pierce medium bottom six okay well I'm glad I didn't have to give up any picks for that then that's for sure all right let's uh, let's make our pick let's see uh, let's see the OHL. Who's uh, the next best to go? Uh, I th I'm really thinking about Webb. Riley Webb. He is a real player, though. Maybe not. <laughs> I mean, I guess most of these players are probably going to be real players. So, man, remember when David Levin used to be sick? Like in NHL 17, he would always grow tremendously. Riley Webb's a 20-year-old enforcer. Scheduled to be, or looking like he's going to be medium late. He's probably going to be. M a medium top six or if not a medium seventh yeah a medium seventh whatever but it's another pick it's another player to add to the team let's uh let's now take a look at the fourth round we'll go sorted by the ohl again david levin is still here is there anybody that might be decent uh constantino is probably for sure in high or a high ahl top two there's an elite, Liam Howell, who is not an elite, but I think he's a top nine. Uh, Arbor Zaycash. I've never heard of this guy in my life. That's a, a very, very unique name. And then all these players have not been scouted. Well, Jesus. Let's go back. <laughs> oh, the scouts really did not do well for us this year, that's for sure. All right, so we're just going to take David Levin. I know who he is. I don't think he's that great, though. Yeah, AHL top six, raw. All right, so now we don't have a pick until the sixth round. Let's uh, let's see what we can get here. We can get... Oh, wait, Bilou isn't... Well, yeah, no, I was going to say Bilou isn't one of ours. Let's see. Uh, Hobble's still here. I will take Hobble. I'm pretty sure he's like a medium top nine. Yes. Okay, that's actually a relatively good pick. How old is he? That's probably our best pick of the draft. He's 20 as well, but still probably our best pick of the draft, which is sad to say. And we've got one pick left in this draft. Um, again, we'll sort it by OHL players, but there's only three left that are projected, or that are actually scouted. Uh, that's actually true, too. Wow, that's crazy, man. Hey, like I said, our, coach, or our uh, scouts really didn't help us this year. A lot, basically everybody here is going to be a, a real player, so we're just going to take... Well, actually, I think we're going to take Sam Benton. Because, uh, yeah, grab another forward. Another AHL top six. Again, not great. <sighs> wow, wow, wow. <laughs> okay. So that was a very interesting draft. Obviously not a great draft. Uh, we got a couple of decent picks in there. But literally nothing, no top four defensemen, no top six forwards. So this, uh, this, uh, this start to the series is definitely a slower one. Hopefully next year's draft will be better uh, for 
from what I know of, it will be because there's a couple of players that go in like the top six or seven, I believe. So who knows what will happen there. Obviously, once we get there, we get there. But now, uh, I didn't do it earlier like I meant to, but uh, I'm going to name off some of the alumni uh, or some of the bigger name alumni, I guess. So uh, some of the OHL alumni include Cam Fowler, John Gibson, uh, all the Strom brothers, uh, Jeff Skinner, Mark Giordano, Sean Monahan, Matt Tachuk, uh, Alex DeBrincat, Gabe Landeskog, Tyler Sagan, Jason Spezza, uh, Connor McDavid, obviously, Aaron Ekblad, Drew Doughty, Jake Muzzin, all the stalls, uh, all the Sioux bands, uh, Taylor Hall, Matt Duchesne, uh, Brent Burns, Logan Couture, Joe Thornton, uh, Ryan O'Reilly, Alex Petrangelo, Stamkos, Marner, Tavares, Horvat, John Carlson, Mark Shifley. So obviously, there are a lot of those players who are like elite ta are elite talents in uh, in the NHL right now. So who knows? Maybe we'll be able to get some elite talent NHL players here uh, soon. Now, let's uh, let's go and look at uh, our contract. So I'm gonna let all of these players go. I think honestly, I'm so tempted just to, I'm tempted to just sign them and just to keep them in our NHL lineup because. All the players we just drafted are going to play in the CHL if I don't play them in the AHL. So I'm really tempted to just keep them in the CHL, keep them unsigned for another year. But then again, I feel like I should sign them. Uh, I'm really not sure. Uh, I don't know. You know, let's, uh, let's just go through. We're going to sign all the players we have here to one-year deals. We'll do $2 million for each of them. <laughs> Uh, that's going to take a while. But uh, you know what, guys? I'm going to end the episode here because I'll do all this stuff off screen. You guys don't need to see any of it. Uh, we will meet you at the uh, start of the NHL, uh, or I guess the 2019-2020 season. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this episode. Let me know what you think about the challenge. Obviously, uh, is it going to be an immense challenge? Uh, I think it'll be relatively hard. So, obviously, only time will tell. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, guys.